Today, as the Cleveland Indians postponed their home opener because of the weather. Because of the weather, and as Fox 8's Melissa Reed reports, the team is trying to make it right with the fans with an enhanced ticket exchange offer. <laughs> offer. She's here now to explain all of this. A lot of disappointed people today, Melissa. Oh, yeah, Tracy, you could say the home opener was put on ice. Too soon? Okay. No, seriously, though, a lot of fans so disappointed in this. In fact, the Indians are trying to make good by this by saying that you have two options. One is to either go to the home opener tomorrow plus another game, or you can exchange it for two games, home games, in April or May. Now, fans say that's great and all, but what about the money for parking downtown that they already paid for and that they're going to have to pay for again? When the Indians announced that Monday's home opener was postponed. Oh, we are our age. I mean, we came down here, we took work off. Fans were fuming. When did you find out the game was canceled? 90 minutes before the game. The temperatures were lined up to be one of, if not the coldest game in the last 15 years. And Go the game now moved to Tuesday. At the end of the day, in discussions between us and the Red Sox and the umpires, uh, in collaboration, the decision was made really thinking about player safety. It would have been better if the game was on and I didn't pay 40 bucks. Right? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it's little consolation to those who already paid to park. $110 a piece. And how much did you pay? To $40 to park here. Is nobody should give us a refund or some kind of rebate on it. It really should. According to several parking lots adjacent to Progressive Field, it's not happening. Everybody getting mad at us cussing at us, wanting their money back. We couldn't do nothing about it, you know. It's in the fine print. Not on the valet tickets, but on the parking tickets, you can't get a refund. Go try! Now, parking companies say another reason is that lot attendants were here at 6 a.m. Monday morning, and they're going to have to pay them to come back Tuesday morning as well. At least a half off for tomorrow or something. No, I'm not coming like back nothing. Tomorrow. So to make up for it, the Indians announced Monday night that fans have two options. Either attend the rescheduled home opener plus another game in April or May or attend two other home games in April or May. $40 for uh, parking, 100 plus for tickets. You know, it's not it sucks, but we'll be here tomorrow. All right, so what about tickets bought on StubHub or other third party vendors? The Indians say that ticket is only for tomorrow, the home opener. They, it is not available for their ticket exchange policy, so people can't use those tickets to go to two other games in April or May. Bill and Tracy, game time tomorrow, 110 first pitch. And as uh, Andre mentioned, you know, the, the forecast tomorrow, not much better, but there won't be that precipitation in the air, the Indians say. We're just kind of used to it. It's opening days always kind of like this. It's cold or rainy or something, snowy. Yeah, that, right, that's, that's Cleveland. In fact, the <laughs> Indians addressed that. We asked them about that, and they said that the guys were coming back from Arizona for spring training camps, so and they were not acclimated to the cold just yet. However, as you mentioned, it is Cleveland. Yeah, well, the fans were ready to go today, that's for sure. Thanks, Melissa. For sure. Meantime, tonight,